Some news out of Commerce and Treasury uh, with AI risks in focus. Our Megan Casella is in D.C. with details this morning. Hey, Megan. Hey, Carl. So Commerce and Treasury departments are both out with new recommendations this morning on how best to regulate AI across the private sector. Treasury's report is focused on the financial sector specifically, and it outlines steps for firms to address risks. They say this is based on interviews they held with 42 firms in finance and technology, and they highlighted concerns specifically over sophisticated phishing and on AI's ability to imitate voice and video. They say that, for example, could fool a bank into thinking it was talking with a real customer. Now, in this 50-page report, Treasury also says that some firms reported concerns with current risk management frameworks, saying they may not be adequate to cover emerging AI technologies, such as generative AI, and they had concerns that firms may be moving too slowly on this. Now, both agencies are recommending better disclosures on AI systems that would detail the training that went into them, for example. They're calling this a nutrition label for AI tools. They would also detail how a system is performing and what it's best used for. Now, Commerce is also calling for some regulation here, including some that would require audits of high-risk AI systems. This they compare to our financial system and the audits we have in place there. We're also calling for liability rules, including on who would be at fault if an AI system were to cause harm. Now, Carl, both agencies acknowledge the benefits of AI, and they want to help AI realize its promise, they say, through these rules. For now, this is not binding, although we do expect to see some mandatory guidance from the Biden administration on this, maybe as soon as later this week. Carl? That is uh, fascinating, Megan, and definitely hits uh, very close to home. Megan Casella in D.C. What do you think, Jim? It, it, it's after being out there last week with Chen Simong and his team, we need this very badly. Uh, some companies, predictably, like in Amazon Web Services, done an unbelievable job on this. But when you listen to what Anthropic, now that's $4 billion owned by $4 billion Amazon, $2 billion by Google, there's tremendous hallucin hallucinogens, hallucination. Right. And they're fooling people all the time. Uh, and so you really do want to get a single source of truth about this. By the way, everyone who's been getting calls on Medicare and something that they know about you, which is what I got a call on, that's the hack. The hack has been distributed, and it's something the first time I've ever felt it. I got five calls in the last week of different Medicare providers who knew everything about me. And this hack, as, as Nikesh Aurora told me from Palo Alto, may be the worst hack ever. Oh, my gosh. Um, they know are, everything about me. Everything. Are you convinced or, or confident that regulators can be mindful and yet, net, and yet not restrictive on the innovation? No, I'm not. Um, but I do think that what tends to happen is like what happened with the first one of these Interstate Commerce Commission, if you go back to the, to the 1800s, <laughs> yes. where they say, okay, guys, here's the guidelines. You figure it out. And if anybody's going to figure out, then what will happen is Amazon will set the standard because they've thought more about this than anybody. So it's, it, they have to get rid of the bad actors. And maybe the best way to do it is to self-regulate because uh, they don't really know what to do. And what you'll do is you'll go to Andy Jassy and tell us what do you think is the right thing to do. But we need it. Um, there, there have been some very bad hacks within the federal government in the last, in the last four weeks where they need to figure out who's building uh, the actual uh, learning part, uh, which is that they can, they can literally get into the learning part and convince these machines to come up with things that could hurt you. So that's very, very warranted. Good right. report by her. Well, Good report.